Hello everyone, welcome back to some of these review videos. Um, today we're going to go over the vertebrae. So um, here I have uh, 14 questions up on the screen. So go ahead and grab a pen and paper and go through each number and answer the questions. You know, identify the landmark. There's one specific question, what type of vertebrae are all of these, um, naming the bone specifically, giving a specific name. Um, hopefully you know the drill by now. Um, and we'll go over the other vertebrae um, once we finish this one. Um, we will hit all of the general features probably on this group um, and not so much on the other ones, maybe just a little bit. Um, so just keep that in mind as we as we go through these. So go ahead and pause the video, go through these on your own, and then um, you can start the video again and we will go through the answers. All right, let's get started. So number one, we'll come up here. This is gonna be the transverse process. So highlights a little bit off, but that end here. Two is going to be the pedicle. Three is going to be the lamina. And remember the pedicle and the lamina, lamina make up the vertebral arch. Four is going to be the spinous process. Five is going to be the transverse foramina. And six is just going to be the body. And I'm actually going to jump over to number 14 real quick. Um, just because it might be, you know, it. I probably should have put this one first, but I had already numbered when I thought of it. So um, what type of oops, vertebrae are all of these? So they are all the same type of vertebrae. And that is going to be the cervical vertebrae. All right, so um, let's move on to number seven over here. This is going to be the superior articulating facets. Number eight is going to be the inferior articulating facets. All right, number nine. Um, it's asking for the specific bone. So that is going to be C1 or the atlas. Oops, so some of these didn't get numbers over here. Um, number 10, name the bone, specific bone, C2 axis. So this one here, it looks like didn't get a number, but um, we'll do that now. This one is going to be the posterior arch. We'll jump over to number 11. It's going to be the anterior arch. 12 are going to be the superior articulating facets. Look a little bit different on the on C1. And 13 is going to be the dens. All right, so hopefully those are pretty straightforward. Um, we hit most of the general features for these on the cervical vertebrae. Um, so we will move on to the uh, next two types. Um, like I said, we won't hit all of the generals on these ones, um, but you know, make sure you're reviewing those as well. So number 15, what type of vertebrae are these two here? It's gonna, so, oh, excuse me, um, go ahead and pause the video, go through the numbers on your own, um, and then come back and we'll review. All right, so hopefully you went through those. Um, so number 15, what type of vertebrae are these? It's gonna be thoracic. Number 16, these are gonna be the superior articulating facets. 
17. This is going to be the superior costal facet. Remember, it's on both sides. We just can't see both right now. Number 18, it's just going to be the body. Number 19, the inferior costal facet. Number 20, inferior articulating facet. And 21, transverse costal facet. All right, so now we'll move on to the last type of um, vertebrae. So if you haven't already, go ahead and pause and go through these. Um, so number 22, what type of vertebrae is this? It's going to be lumbar. Number 23 is pointing this at the spinous process. 24 is going to be pointing at the inferior articular facets. So the um, flatter surface is going to be kind of facing the other way, but hopefully you got the right idea from the arrow. 25 is going to be the transverse process. Remember on both sides. And 26 is the superior articular facets. All right, so hopefully those weren't too bad. Um, real quick before we wrap up, I'll just talk about identifying the different types of vertebrae. So while we're here, um, the thoracic vertebrae has a very long spinous process. Um, and it kind of looks like a giraffe. Um, that's kind of how I remember it. Um, but it has a much longer spinous process pointing um, more inferiorly. And the body is of the thoracic vertebrae are bigger than those of the cervical. So that's a good way to tell. And so, you know, we're looking at the cervical vertebrae. Um, you can see the spinous process is much smaller than the thoracic. So a good way to tell. All right. And the lumbar, um, it doesn't have any additional features aside from the general features. Um, but one way you can tell that it is a lumbar is that the it's much bulkier as a whole. It has to, um, you know, hold the weight of the entire spine and upper extremities. So um, the body is a lot bigger and it's a little bit more um, you know, chunky, I guess, over here compared to the thoracic vertebrae. It has a the, the thoracic vertebrae has a skinnier spinous process and transverse processes. Um, but these ones are a little bit more close to the center to hold all that weight. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, of course, um, reach out, come to Open Lab, um, and good luck on your assessments.